welcome to the first episode of Camera Creamers Outdoors. I hope you guys uh, are pumped about this. I know I am. I love fishing, and I figured, you know what? Let's share my knowledge, um, my go-to lures, rods, reels. Uh, I'm going to do a bunch of reviews for you guys, and yeah, let's jump right into it. So today we're going to be covering the Zoom Lizard. Um, I love these. These are the, probably the most reliable bait that I've uh, I've ever used. I started using them when I was like six, and I start I started out with these. They were the only thing that my hardware store had as far as soft plastic, and it was the Zoom six inch chartreuse pepper. And I've caught so many fish off of these. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of bass off of these uh, rubbers. They're absolutely insane. They're wicked durable. I mean. You can sit here and tug on this, and it's not going to do anything. It's not going to go anywhere, and it's going to provide you with a solid bait that you can use for more than two or three bass. Um, so going into the rigging, I do a Texas rig style hook, three out hook, extra wide gap offset shank here, as you guys can see, right there. And I go into the top, come down to the turn of the hook. I go through like so. I come all the way up like this. I go through the eyelet so you can no longer see the eyelet. I come in, I match the bottom where it needs to be, poke it all the way through. I bring it up and over actually, which uh, I know a lot of guys don't do. They usually leave it set in or exposed like this. As you guys can see, that hook tip is visible. So what I do here is I pull it forward a little bit towards the eyelet and I just tuck it back. And this is by far my least, wow. See how crooked that is? That's not what you want. Um, I went too far into the head. Basically Texas rig, I'm gonna redo this. Texas rig, you poke it through. It doesn't have to be really deep. You just bring it up here, come through, rig it, boom. And you just want to sink the tip of your, see that's a lot better. You just want to sink the tip of your hook into the back just a little bit, just enough to keep it weedless. These work awesome uh, all year. I throw them in weeds, I throw them in grass, I'll throw them in really shallow, somewhat open water that has you know submerged plants in it or a rock. Um, these actually work really good for smallmouth in New England. You throw them around rocky areas and you just kind of jerk them around. And uh, yeah, I need, I do. Uh, you know, I burst, burst, and then I pause, and I burst, burst again, kind of like it's a uh, basically running away. Uh, that's that's basically the only way I can explain it. So, New England bass fishing, chartreuse pepper, six inch zoom lizard. Same thing. These are all six inch June bug chartreuse tail. Just June bug. Blue flash, which this is a newer color. I've used it a couple times. Caught a couple fish on it. Uh, seems to work pretty good. On really bright days, I will throw this black lizard with a chartreuse tail. The black kind of just, you know, contrasts with the sun, and then the tail just gives it a little bit more action. Um, almost looks like a bait fish following it, more or less in the water. So, zoom lizards, I absolutely love them. Uh, I recommend them to anybody. They're really cheap. They're well, they're cheap to buy, good quality, so you're not wasting your money on a bait that you're going to catch one fish on and then have to throw away because it tore it all up. So, if I were you, you don't know what to throw, go buy a set of lizards, throw them in the lake, get them down into the lily pads, burp, burp, pause, burp, burp, pause. It'll guarantee you catch a fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this first video on the channel. As always, it's been awesome. I'm actually headed out fishing in a little bit. So I will catch you guys on the next video.